Welcome back to the blog and boy do we have a treat for you today. We are going to be taking the Dominican transit system to the San Juan Mall to go do a bit of shopping and while we're there we're going to go visit a beautiful botanical park so it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, a few takeaways we did this trip yesterday and I'm shooting the intro today. Uh, a few takeaways about the Dominican uh, transit system is um, you have two sets of buses some have doors and some don't and I strongly recommend you choose the buses that have doors. Uh, we rode a bus with no doors on the way there and a bus with doors on the way back and we can say that the uh, buses with doors were much, much more comfortable. So without further ado, let's have a look at what it's like to ride the Dominican transit system in Punta Cana. Okay, so we're now leaving the hotel. We're at the traffic circle. We're going to be making our way across the road so we can catch the bus to the mall. Challenge number one, getting across the road. And we have an opportunity. Now, here's the thing. There isn't actually a bus stop per se. You just kind of stand on the side of the road and the bus comes around. Now, I'm not sure where we're supposed to stand, but I see somebody standing over there. So let's go try standing with this gentleman and uh, he must know something. So let's see how this works. And this is the Cocotal Golf Course. Beautiful, beautiful property. And we're going to stand right over here and wait for the bus. Thank you. So we're on the bus and heading heading to San Juan Shopping Center. Uh, oh, I think. Uh, the door stays open, yeah? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so the, apparently the door stays open. That's all good. It's a comfortable ride. It's uh, smaller than I expected. And I know I've seen larger buses, but... Uh, yeah, we're being some, oh, that motorcycle is really putting out a lot of fumes. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. With the door open, you can really smell the exhaust off that motorcycle. And this is a nice mall. There's a clothing shop there. We've been in there not too long ago, and the prices were quite reasonable. And this is a new complex that's being built, and we, already there's some retail appearing here. Um, really nice place to visit if you get a chance. And we're coming up now upon the Super Llama grocery store. And here's our friend Juan from the resort. Hola, hola. <laughs> the Dominican people are so friendly. <laughs> and this is the Super Lama grocery store. So it's about a 15 minute walk from the resort. And uh, you can find just about anything in here. I was really impressed. And you can get a SIM card for your phone here. So if you arrive and you want to get a data plan for your phone, that's where you would go. And here's a gas station. And I should mention that this pharmacy next to the gas station is actually quite good. And you can get insulin there if you're a diabetic. So it's important to know. Yeah. 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 From a vlogging perspective, 
Getting in a bus with no doors is great. You can get a lot of good shots. So I've read that sometimes when you get on the local transit, uh, some people might have their um, emotional support livestock with them. You might, uh, it might be a goat or a chicken, but uh, we're chicken free on uh, this ride. And now we're approaching uh, another commercial district. Is there a cigar shop here? Oh, oh my. Now it's getting interesting. So there are a variety of public transit vehicles in Punta Cana. And, uh, this is just one of them. So, we're getting close to where we want to be. Yes, there it sits, San Juan Mall. Beautiful. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to take us in. Nope, he's going to drop, dro drop us off here, so we're going to be on our own to get across the road. This ought to be interesting. And, thank you uh, very much. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Oh, that was quite. We're getting dropped off right on the sidewalk. Gracias, amigo. Bye bye. Nice meeting you. Let the bus pull away here. As you can see, it's a bus with a permanently open door. And we are now at the infamous San Juan Mall, and there's a staircase here. We got a lot of, well, we got a closed staircase is what we're dealing with. So I'm going to walk down here. And we have a giant swordfish. I believe it's from Ireland. Very modern, extremely clean. And I hear there's a beautiful park behind the mall. So we're going to be exploring that as well. This is actually much nicer than it looks from the street. It's, uh, I, I'm, yeah, very modern, very much uh, similar to a mall you would expect anywhere in North America. A grocery store, and look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. A nice grocery store, very, very well stocked. Uh, a lot of the same things you would uh, find at home. And of course, it never takes Trish very long to find her wine section. And wow, look at this. Look at this. A beautiful, beautiful selection of wines here. A nice selection of personal care products. Very well stocked. Store here, so. If you're looking for a SIM card, uh, you can get one here as well. So main takeaway from the grocery store is that the prices are very, very reasonable and it's very modern. Look at this. Uh, pretty much what you'd expect back at home, only with uh, much better prices. So off we go to Jumbo. So there is an Ikea here. And I'm not that interested in going inside the Ikea, but my good friend Eva and her pet Flamingo Flo tell me that there's a beautiful park behind the Ikea, so we're going to make our way there and go check that out. We have another big marlin. Oh well, turns out we are going inside Ikea. Okay, so let's have a look. You know what? <laughs> it looks exactly like any IKEA we have in Canada. 
and I'm sure that it looks very similar to what you would have in the States. By the way, I own this chair at home and it is absolutely comfortable. I'm actually thinking of buying another one. I enjoy it so much. So it's pretty much the rat maze that the Ikeas in Canada are. I hope we don't have to walk through the whole store here, but it is quite nice, so I don't mind it. <laughs> so we just left the Ikea store, and I gotta tell you, I was impressed with this selection. They actually had some stuff that I don't think we have at Ikea in Canada, and uh, quite nice. So now we're heading behind Ikea. Apparently there's a really, really nice park, and we're gonna go check that out. If you want to get off the resort for a day and do something different, uh, it costs us $2 to get here, $2 to get back, so a $4 excursion, uh, really nice. So we really would recommend doing this. So far we are having a blast. So we're now approaching the park and it looks quite beautiful. I have to say, if you want a snack or a drink, there's a cantina here. And look at this. This is beautiful. Heading into this beautiful park that's located directly behind IKEA. This is enchanting. This is absolutely beautiful. Again, as I mentioned earlier, it's a dollar each to take the bus here and then a dollar each to get back. So this beautiful excursion is a four dollar trip. What a bargain. You know what? It's worth it just to come and take a stroll through this park. And you have to see the Sanford Theater. Look at that beautiful theater there. This is crazy beautiful. Trish is taking a lot of pictures. Again, I have to thank Eva and Flo, Flo the Flamingo, for recommending this trip to us, this uh, side trip. We had no idea this was here. And you know what? We probably would not have ventured back here had we not been told about this. Just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful statues. And we have some kind of a tree house here. And I guess there's a cage there for misbehaving tourists. Look at this statue, look at this. Giant parrots. And the trees, oh my God, this is a botanical paradise. Just a, a, a beautiful collection of different plants and trees and shrubs and definitely has that wow factor. Not overly big, but then again, not too small either. Just, you know, enough to make it a nice little side trip. And we have here a pond with lots of exotic fish. Like I'm talking giant goldfish here. You should, I'm not sure the camera will pick them up, but they're, uh, they're pretty big. And we have a nice waterfall and look at the plants behind that waterfall. My oh my, just a beautiful, beautiful spot. So we're gonna leave the park now and we're gonna head off to Jumbo to see what that's all about. So we'll see you later. Okay, our next stop will be Jumbo. 
I've always wanted to go to the store. I've never been, so first time for everything. We are now in Jumbo. Beautiful. Pretty much looks like a Walmart. And yeah, we go in this way. There we go. Yeah, very, very much like a Walmart. So we got kind of kicked out of Jumbo because I have a camera and we bought a light bulb at Ikea and they said we had to put it in a locker and I'm not putting an expensive camera in a locker. So unfortunately, no trip to Jumbo today, but there's a lot of other stores here. So let's check them out. So this is a mall adjacent to Jumbo. It's quite nice, clothing stores and telephone accessories. So a little marketing advice for uh, the people who operate Jumbo. You can really increase your sales a lot by uh, not kicking out your customers at the door. Just saying. So we're pretty much done our visit uh, to the San Juan Mall. And yeah, we're impressed. It, it was fun, all except uh, for uh, Jumbo. Uh, you know, that was so funny. It was like, oh, give me your expensive camera. I'll hold it while you go shopping. Nah, I don't think that's gonna happen, buddy. So, and look at this. We have a uh, Scotia Bank, and we have Jumbo. So, if you go to Jumbo, make it the first store you go to because if you buy anything in any other store they'll ask you to leave the bags with them before they let you in the store and don't bring a gopro and uh yeah so uh, basically uh go in almost kind of without carrying anything and uh, you should be fine uh, we were just unlucky today so it is what it is and now we're going to wait for the bus i'm kind of hoping to get a bus with a door and it looks like we're getting another one that doesn't have a door. Oh, and it's quite crowded. Ah, yes. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, this is much nicer. So we made it on the bus and uh, there's air conditioning. It's nice and cool in here. And look, there's doors, so cool. Yes, yes. Thank you. Oh. So, we're back and we're at Kathmandu. And uh, boy, that was fun. I got to tell you, uh, best $4 I think I've spent in uh, Punta Cana. It was quite the adventure. And. Um, Bonus, we got a bus with doors and air conditioning on the way home, which was kind of nice. And boy, we got a lot of different vehicles to try to pick us up. We had one of those little tuk-tuks, a motorcycle who wanted two of us to get on without helmets, a uh, bus without doors, bus with doors. So there's a wide variety of uh, transportation options in Punta Cana. So that's it for the vlog today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we certainly enjoyed making it, let me tell you. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.